How y'all doing out there? With everything that's going on in this world right now. How y'all doing? How you feel? You worried? Are you uh are you a believer? Are you praying? Are you talking to others? If you are a believer, are you talking to others in hopes that they will believe in and be saved? I know everybody will probably say, Oh well, you're using you're using this time and um, using our worries to pump your agenda to make us believe in Christ and be Christians. Yes, that's that's exactly exactly right. You know, having hope. Scripture talks about those who don't have hope. You know, um, so with everything going on right now. It is, a, it is a scary time, you know, having to distance yourself away from other people and, you know, in some cases, distance yourself away from family if you, for those who have caught the virus. So I'm going to take this time to, to tell those who, or invite those who don't believe to look into Christ, look into the gospel, look into uh, what Christ has done for us in terms of dying for our sins and giving us hope and giving us everlasting life. You know, it's a very serious thing. and It takes calamity sometimes. It takes tragedy to, uh, to open some people's eyes. So... Uh, me as a Christian, even though I have hope and I have everlasting life, it doesn't mean that we don't worry. We're not concerned about things. It's just our, our concerns and worries have limitations because we know at the end of the day, we're crossing over to life. We're crossing over to not just life, but eternal peace with God. And, and that's not a, a bad thing. If you got to leave this this world and all this troubles and pass over to eternal life that's a that's a good thing Paul talks about he'd much rather be with Christ as we all would you know we we'd much rather be with Christ so but we still you know we still don't want to still part of us that that doesn't was doesn't want to get sick you know doesn't want to see our family suffer and stuff like that but Use this time, use this time to to look into it. Consider um, consider Christ. Consider what He's done. Consider what Scripture talks about this world and the the one to come. I'm not really one for blogging and doing all these videos for YouTube, but I figured I'd say something. All right. I, 